Hey, we're five seconds of summer, and we're gonna do five sauces with five sauce for bandwagon. What's the song on the album you're most excited for the fans for the fans to hear? For whatever reason, maybe it's your favorite. Maybe it's the most different one on the record. This is so... <laughs> like maybe. <that. laughs> maybe like you that. don't really like the song. It's really bumping us. Maybe everything's a lie. Maybe every day. Um, all right, I'll go first. I'm most oh. Oh, oh, dip um, for an answer. You got sriracha there. It's a strange dip you got there. It's different technique. Sriracha. What are you doing? <laughs> can, you, can you just get a new one? Um, I'll dilute so it. So I'm most fries. excited for. That's a great idea, Calum. This is why you're on the team. Um, for the fries. Um, I'm most excited for fans to hear the song Ghost of You. Um, I think that it's going to really, really resonate with um, our fan base, and I think that it's going to become. Um, a song that that will be very very important to our career, and um, it's really different from anything we've ever done. Um, it's one. It's the second song we've released in three four. Third song we've done in three four. Oh, which is, what? Uh, airplanes. Oh wait, no, it's, it's not even in three. Four. It is in three four. Yeah, yeah it's it a is. Waltz. Yeah, yeah. It's like it's like <laughs> it's a waltz. It is a waltz tempo. I don't know. It's just so different from anything we've done before, and I think people are gonna love it. Yeah. Cheers. And also, Lifehouse will be jealous. <laughs> I'm gonna agree with my boy Mike because he's yeah. he's my boy. I'm gonna get up in there as well. And I'm gonna. We'll have to get that sauce. Wonderful. Who goes next? <laughs> no, you can't. Do, you can't. Oh, dude, no, you've broken the whole game. I've been rare. Did you not the understand that? Everywhere. Oh. What was your favorite part of the recording process for Youngblood? Ah, oh, tracking the bass. <laughs> um, yeah. I mean, the bass was. The bass what was, was a sick. marker. <laughs> yeah, for one song, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, I remember. Um, I liked the part of the recording process where we were finishing up our, uh, finishing up the, a couple of the final songs in LA, and we were right next door to the 1975, and uh, we listened oh, to yeah. them play this guitar riff oh, for God. about... How'd it go again? It's something like that, and it, they played it for about like two and a half hours. That was my favorite part. <laughs> that was your favorite that was my part. Favorite yeah. part. Yeah, this is a good sauce. Yo, that? You'd like all this right, sauce. Right. That's so, like those, uh, oh, sweet chili. Story. Young Blood, um, the actual song, we used Chad Smith drums from the Red Hot Chili Peppers, uh, which is a good little fact for rock and roll oh, yeah. fans and out there. Cool. I like that sauce. It's a good Stop. sauce. All right, Mike, you're up. Uh, there was a three year gap between Youngblood and the previous <laughs> one, but only a year's difference between your debut and Sounds Good, Feels Good. What did you do in the interim? What was that extra time like? More luxurious? Uh, <laughs> that time was so luxurious. Uh, yes. I wouldn't say it was that so, luxurious. Yeah, we released Sounds Good, Feels Good, and then we promoted, went around and we promoted the album for about a year. And then the next year, we went around the world and, and we toured. Mm -hmm. um, and then the next year after that, we wrote uh, Youngblood. So that's what we've been doing. Yeah, I don't think we had the capacity in us to release an album in uh, 2016. Like, I don't, I don't think we could have done it. And it, I think... We were touring the whole year, yeah. like, literally yeah. every day. The album would have been... There would have been no evolution either. It would have been... I don't know. Not necessarily an exciting album if yeah. we released and it at the time for us. Be, yeah, we wouldn't, wouldn't have much, as much love into it. Yeah. yeah. So, moving on. <sighs> the new album has songs with electronic elements and sound geared towards a more pop sound. Interesting choice of word. How do you feel about straying away from the pop punk slash rock sound? Was it time? <laughs> <laughs> no, was it it time? was time. It was time. I think, I think <laughs> that. I was think it time? was it time? I think that we just going into this record, we just dropped all uh, kind of boundaries and expectations from third party um, opinions. And I think that we just kind of went into it thinking that we just wanted to create the best sounding record that we could make, regardless of what genre or what what 
what, what am I trying to say? Like what, traditionally what that would be to be in a rock band. Mm. And I think that, that by doing that is how we managed to create such a diverse and interesting album. Um, yeah, it was time. It definitely, uh, it was yeah. time. All right. We just served the song. Now someone eat a whole clump of that hot sauce. At the I'm, end a, there. I'm a sauce behind. Yeah. I'm gonna stay away from that What's one. What's this one? one <laughs> that looks crazy. There's one more from, oh. there's one more from uh, Twitter. In the mouth. <laughs> oh wait, oh this is, it just says, Michael, can you explain this tweet? And Michael Five Sauce, I know him actually. Is it his tweet yesterday? <laughs> yeah, I did, I actually wanna know that Peanutty. as well. Because tonight in Singapore, I'm going to replace every pronoun in all of our songs with Tank. All right. What does that mean? <laughs> all right. Wait, were you drunk? No, I wasn't drunk. It's, you know what? Right, he explained it to me, and okay. it's funny. So, imagine I'm singing, she looks so perfect. And I don't know if you if you know who Tank the singer is. Which, but, you, and you said that the reference is hard for people I know too. it is, I, and I it's niche. I don't know if you know it's the multi-platinum <laughs> R&B 90s singer. <laughs> it's Tank. niche, it's a niche <laughs> Niche joke. reference. But if you get it, I think it really clicks. So Make pretty much if I'm singing, she looks so perfect, I'm singing, I'm singing Tank's, Tank looks so perfect standing there. And if I'm singing Jet Black Heart, cause Tank's got a jet black heart. Do you know what I mean? Have you got Have you got any like? Oh, uh, well, it didn't Cause fall. Tank, Cause Tank rides with the poison. Pen. You know every pronoun. Have you got Have you got anything from uh, from mean? the new campaign? Did it, uh, it didn't It didn't flop though. Young Tank. Yeah. When was this? No, no. Three thirteen. <laughs> three in the morning. You got thirty thousand likes on it. That's okay. You know. Six thousand retweets. Didn't do that well. But then look down here is where what's that six. Point four. Oh, that that's, that's it. the same thing. You know I, what? I did retweet it for you though, so probably. So you probably yeah, boosted probably it for it. me. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. All right, Thanks. that's all we got on uh, Five Sauce with Five Sauce. Uh, <laughs> sauce uh, we're just song. gonna finish this whole <laughs> ride. I eat a bunch of sauce right now. All See you later. later. All the band wa wagon watchers, thank you very much for Five Sauce. We have lots of sauces. Five to be exact. Keep the band on the wagon. We're gonna eat this chili sauce and then see if we can. That one's good. <laughs> this one's the best, one. the best one. Cool. Then try the last one. Well, this one.